<clears throat> hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Stephanie Bree. I am your host, and today I'm just going to do a little video talking about Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I have taken the summer off making videos because I was moving from Texas to Idaho and I needed some time to get settled into my new life. Get my job going, you know, get into my place, get acclimated and all that. So I'm back to making videos now. So, yay. I apologize for the background noise. It is hot. This has been a relentless summer, so the fan is blowing on me. I'm not turning the fan off, so I hope you can hear me okay. Um, future videos probably won't have that problem once it starts to cool down, because I am in Idaho now. But let's talk about Dungeons & Dragons. So I started playing D&D when I was 12 years old. I was living in a small town in Kansas you've never heard of, and I'm not going to tell you the name of it. Um, and uh, I had a group of friends. We were a group of nerds. We played video games together. We traded trading cards and comic books together. We played Power Rangers and X-Men together, video games and role play. Um, we played Mortal Kombat at each other's houses. Again, video games and role play. <laughs> we were kids. Uh, but we also played Dungeons and Dragons. And I started off with what is known as Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Second Edition. So this past summer, I joined a D&D group uh, that went sour, and I ended up leaving the D&D group, and I'm not going to go into the reasons why, uh, but I am just going to say that it wasn't a good group for me, and I'm going to leave it at that. And um, we were playing 5th edition. So this summer, I got really obsessed with Dungeons & Dragons, to the point where I bought some books, and I read all the PDFs. Um, when I say all the PDFs, I mean I've read every core rulebook PDF. So I've read the original Dungeons and Dragons white box rules rule books and the supplements. I read the uh, the 1977 basic PDF rulebook, the 1981 basic rulebook. Uh, I read the 1983 Beck Me rulebooks, all of them, basic, expert. Uh, Companion, Master, Immortal. I read the um, PDF of the 1991 Rules Compendium. I read the PDF of the AD&D Monster Manual, Player's Handbook, and Dungeon Master's Guide. I read the PDF of the AD&D Second Edition Monster Manual, Monstrous Manual, excuse me, uh, Dungeon Master's Guide, and Player's Handbook. And I did the same thing, 3rd edition, 4th edition, and 5th edition. I didn't read the PDS of 5th edition because I have the books, but I read through all of them. I even read through the um, OSR, uh, Old School Res Rena Renaissance, or Old School Revival, depending on who you ask. Um, modern Retro Clones. So I read Osiric, I read Swords and Wizardry, uh, the list goes on. I read all the modern takes on them. I read the Pathfinder and Pathfinder 2E PDF. I read the Tunnels and Trolls PDF, and I run the Dave Ar I read the Dave Arnis and Blackmore PDF. Now, the reason why I want to talk about that is because I wanted to be well versed in all the rule sets before I would comment on Dungeons and Dragons as a whole. And there's a few things that I've a few conclusions that I've drawn. The first conclusion that I've drawn is people D&D is D&D. I read every rule book every single one of them it's the same game fourth edition back me fifth edition 3.5 3.0 ad and d basic od and d it's the same game there are subtle differences between each one but they're mostly mechanics the game itself role playing dungeon exploring creating a character fantasy a shared narrative all the concepts all the key elements are 100% identical from one version of the game to the next so we can knock it off with all this bullshit this version is better that version sucks blah 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 we can knock it off they're literally the same game I read every PDF I have played in a campaign or created a character and played through a dungeon every single rule set and I had the same experience every single rule set 
so we can knock it off with all this bullshit bickering over which version is the quote real D&D and which versions aren't real D&D. Fourth edition is D&D. I don't like it. That 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 edition just had some stuff that rubbed me the wrong way. But you can still play it and it still feels like D&D. If you play it like D&D, it's D&D. Same with all the OSRs, same with Pathfinder. Now Tunnels and Trolls was a little bit different. I'll admit to that. But we're not talking about Tunnels and Trolls today. And Pathfinder 2E was a little bit different. Because they kind of diverged a little bit from the OGL. But we're not going to talk about that right now either. Uh, but Pathfinder 1, 1E, is basically 3.5 with some extra sprinkles on top. But it's the same game. Um, that doesn't mean I played every tabletop RPG because I didn't. Only the ones I said. But I am well. I am now well versed in the different rule sets, and I can say this. <sighs> what I want to do is I do want to explore Dungeons and Dragons more in depth. This is not going to become a D and D channel. This is not going to become a TTRPG or a role playing game or a video game channel. It's going to remain an open ended vlog where whatever the fuck I want to talk about, that's what I talk about. Whatever's on my mind. Uh, right now, D&D is on my mind. But tomorrow, it could be something else. It could be peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And then I just talk for five minutes about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I don't know. Whatever comes to my mind. That's the content I promised you. That's the variety of content people keep coming back for because they want to hear what I have to say. Um, but I am going to do Dungeons & Dragons videos. Uh, specifically, I'm going to do book reviews. Not necessarily like in-depth reviews where I flip through the book and tell you this or that. I'm just going to say, I bought this book. This is what it is. Do I like it or do I not like it? And then give you a couple bullet points why or why not. That's it. I'm not going to do one every week. I'm not going to do one every day. I'm not going to do one on every book. But whenever I feel like it, I'm going to do one. I'm still going to do toy videos show off pieces of my collection, do memories, unboxings, whatever. Whatever I come up with. I'm still going to do vlogs. I'm still going to do the talk show. Uh, I am going to interview guests for the talk show. I am still going to do that. I have a few guests that I am chit-chatting with, trying to plan out future interviews. So that is coming down the pipeline, but that's down the pipeline. Don't expect that anytime soon. The last thing I'm going to say about Dungeons & Dragons is you have a couple of options when it comes to buying things. You can buy PDFs either directly from Wizards of the Coast through D&D Beyond or through places like Drive-Thru RPG. This video is not sponsored. I haven't used their service. I've browsed their catalog. I've looked at their selection, I've read reviews, I've talked to people who have used their service, so this is just third-party information. You can get PDFs from them, or you can get print-on-demand certain books. Some books come print-on-demand. There are other print-on-demand services, PDF services, that exist. I don't remember them off the top of my head. I didn't research them. drive through RPG sticks in my head because it's an easy name to remember. The other ones don't have as easy to remember names, so I don't remember them. I'm sorry, I just have a hard time with names. The other option is to buy used books off of eBay, Amazon, your local bookstore, your local hobby store, Facebook groups, Craigslist, thrift stores, whatever. Used books. Be weary when buying used books. Read the descriptions very thoroughly check every picture and if you have doubts contact the seller and ask specific questions because early TSR books some of them especially the advanced Dungeons Dragons line do not hold up they had shitty binding and they lose pages kids played Dungeons and Dragons 8 year olds played Dungeons and Dragons they colored in the pictures with their crowns they wrote notes they highlighted in the books 
They tore pages out. They bookmarked pages. They earmarked pages. Not earmarked. Where you flip dog-eared. That's the word I was looking for. Dog-eared pages. Whatever. So make sure you are 100% on the condition that book is in. Because you will get ripped off if you do not ask. They will sell you a fiend folio missing 12 pages. And if you don't ask... They're not going to tell you it's missing 12 pages. You're just going to get an incomplete book that you just paid full price for because you didn't ask. Ask questions. Do not ever just buy a retro used collectible book off of eBay without asking questions because it could be missing pages. It could have writing in it, coloring in it. You don't know. It could have nudity in it. It could have somebody's name in it. You don't know. Make sure you ask questions. That's all I have for today. Stay cool.